He had killed more than a dozen people and eaten some of them in his Milwaukee apartment that was literally a house of horrors. There are uh, 11 uh, individuals uh, or parts thereof that were recovered. We have also, in addition, through our investigation... What is a serial killer? Well, a serial killer is a person who kills one, three, or more people and basically takes a time off or cooling off period for at least a week, a month, or even a year. But Jeffrey Dahmer, he kept on continuing and wouldn't stop. Jeffrey Dahmer was born May 21st, 1960. His parents were Lionel and Joyce Dahmer. He was a happy young child until the age of six when some minor surgery which coincided with the birth of his brother seemed to affect a change on the boy and he became increasingly insular and lacking in self-confidence. By his early teens he was disengaged, tense, and largely friendless. He claims that compulsions to murder and necrophilia had occurred to him from the age of 14. The breakdown of his parents' marriage, their divorce, and the psychological stress associated with these events may have been the turning point for his actions. Jeffrey attended Revere High School where he began to start drinking alcohol. He had average grades in high school. Classmates considered him as an alcoholic and a loner. He always rode around with plastic garbage bags and collected remains of animals. He would rip the flesh from the bodies. Wouldn't it say he mounted a dog's rotted head on a stick? On June 18, 1978, Jeffrey Dahmer committed his first murder on 18-year-old Stephen Hicks. Dahmer picked him up hitchhiking and invited him back for drinks. After the first murder, Dahmer moved to West Allis, Wisconsin to live with his grandmother. After moving to his grandmother's, it was just a killing spree on his next 14 victims. Stephen Tormey, James Doxeter, Richard Guerrero, Anthony Sears, Raymond Smith, Ernest Miller, David Thomas, Curtis Strader, Tony Hughes, Conera Synthosmophon, Matt Turner, Jeremiah Weinberger, Oliver Lacey, and finally his last victim, Joseph Braidhoff. One victim who actually escaped was 31-year-old Tracy Edwards. Tracy Edwards escaped from Dahmer's apartment and testified at Dahmer's trial. Find as to who you were sitting next to who was doing all these things. A bizarre individual, someone that was very confused at this time. And finally, on February 15, 1992, Dahmer was acquitted of a total of 15 counts of murder and was found guilty for all. He was sentenced to 941 years in jail. And then on November 28, 1994, Dahmer was sexually assaulted and murdered in jail while cleaning a restroom by convicted African-American murderer Christopher J. Scarper.